2023 NFL draft just wrapped up and through free agency and the draft class, pretty much all the rosters are set for the upcoming NFL season and Madden 24. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download a Madden 24 roster on the Madden 23 as well as give you guys my take on the best teams to use from that roster for Madden 23 and Madden 24. So if you guys want to see that, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. So I'm going to start this video out showing you guys how to download the roster that I downloaded, whether you're on Xbox, PlayStation, Xbox, Old Gen, PlayStation 4, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is go over to this little NFL icon logo here and basically select that, then go down to share and manage files. Now this may seem easy to a lot of people, but it really surprised me how many people don't know how to do this. Then you're going to go to download community files and you're gonna tab over by hitting the R1 or the RB button until you see roster. It might, might take a while because it's a little slow to load all the downloads. But once you get to roster here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle this by date added. Once you have it separated by date, you really wanna use likes, dislikes, and downloads as your guide for what's gonna be the best one to use. So this one here obviously is the one that I chose, has 98 likes to seven dislikes, and also has about 20,000 downloads. So this is the one that I use. So if you're on Xbox, this is the one I suggest for now. Now, but over time this is only rounds one and two so over time somebody's gonna go even deeper than that after that you're gonna want to tab over to load and delete files and then do the same process go over to Madden 24 you see right here I have my uh, 430 that I just downloaded I'm gonna load that and that's how I'm gonna basically get that onto the game so now that I showed you guys how to download the roster, I'm going to give you guys my picks for the teams that I'm personally the most excited to use. I also wanted to put this out there as an opportunity for people that always leave in the comment section that they want to play me and stuff like that. I'm looking for volunteers for people on Xbox Next Gen that want to play a game against Woo! me using these rosters so that I can put on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in that, because I do want to do this against actual uh, people on my YouTube channel, actual followers, not just friends of mine, leave your uh, Xbox gamer tag in the description. And and I will most likely hit you up. Uh, first come, first serve, but if you're also uh, somebody who's one of my Patreon supporters or uh, one of my Join Now community uh, members, you're obviously gonna get first dibs. Now these are in no particular order, but one of the first teams that I'm really excited to use is the Chicago Bears. Justin Fields is an exciting player. They don't really have great running backs, according to this. I mean, Herbert and Foreman are okay. Their strength is gonna be the passing game, especially if they boost up uh, Fields a little bit. With DJ Moore coming over from Carolina as a true number one receiver, Darn Mooney and Chase Claypool from last year. They have three receivers with 92 speed or higher, and that doesn't even include Velas Jones, who's a 94 speed. So they got a ton of speed on this roster, which will really help stretch the field. They also picked up Robert Tanyan, who's an 87 speed tight end. Next up, we got the Dallas Cowboys, who didn't really make too many splash additions in the draft, but they made some huge free agent additions, which makes them a really exciting team to use. Dak Prescott obviously is very consistent at quarterback. Tony Pollard is one of the best running backs in the game with his speed. But then then you get the receiver and they get back to the three wide receiver set type that they had when they had Amari Cooper by bringing in Brandon Cook. So now CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Cooks, and Michael Gallup gives you one of the best receiving trios in the game. And then you also have Turpin, who's a 95 speed guy that, you know, he might not be a good receiver, but he can stretch the field and he'd be a one play touchdown guy. But it's really all about Stephen Gilmore. They brought over Stephen Gilmore in free agency, pairing him with Diggs and giving them one of the better cornerback uh, tandems in the league. Next up, we have a team in a similar mold in the Miami Dolphins. T Tunga Vailoa, obviously, uh, helped his stock a lot last year. Uh, when you go to running backs, that doesn't show here. I mean, Raheem Mostert's one of the fastest running backs in the game, but they also drafted a guy by the name of Devin A. Chain, who is probably the fastest running back coming out in the draft. So now they have two really fast running backs, which is always going to be helpful. Two of the fastest, or three of the fastest receivers in the game, and Tyreek Hill, Jalen Wild, and they brought in Robbie Anderson, who I think they changed his name to Chosen One or something like that. But it doesn't really matter. He's definitely fast. So you have three of the fastest receivers in the game. That helps. But they also brought in Jalen Ramsey to you know basically give them what might be the highest rated cornerback in the game to go along with Xavier Howard who's also very good next up we got the Falcons now they probably would have been you know wise to get a quarterback at some point Desmond Ritter's not bad I mean I like the fact he's got 88 speed he's got a decent throw power he's a guy that I think is usable but after that they did put a lot of weapons around him which is probably the most exciting thing they have three running backs that are all pretty good including uh Patterson Bijan Robinson obviously in the in the eighth pick of the first round uh then you get to the receivers 
they got Drake London, who was their first round pick last year, six foot four. You get to the tight ends, uh, Kyle Pitts. I don't know what happened to him in real life last year, but he's a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good tight end, one of the best in the game. On the defensive side, they made some additions as well. Kalias Camp looked good pickup, although he's kind of old. But him and Grady Jarrett give you a really good defensive line. Some decent cornerbacks as well. They did trade for Akuda uh, and Mike Hughes, are both former first round picks. That really didn't work out, but they have good speed and they're decent to go along with AJ Terrell. And then Jesse Bates was the big free agent addition. Next up, we got the Giants. Now the Giants are a team that really needed receivers, and I mean they have Daniel Jones, they have Saquon Barkley, even Braid is a 93 speed, which is worth shouting out. Uh, but they've added some uh, receivers to the core with guys like Paris Campbell, who's a 93 speed, Jalen Hyatt, but he's gonna have good speed. He was one of the fastest receivers in the draft. Then you get the tight end though, and this is where they really uh, made a huge improvement with Darren Waller, one of the best tight ends in the game once again. A couple of really good defensive linemen uh, for the defense as well. Uh, and then ultimately, I mean, their whole, their whole front seven got a lot better in the draft last year with guys like Thibodeau. Uh, and then their secondary got better with the addition of their first round pick in Deontay Banks. Next up, we got the Jets. This is definitely one of the highest profile additions in Aaron Rodgers. Good running backs in Brees Hall and uh, Michael Carter's not bad. Uh, you get the receiving core, and the receiving core's pretty good with Garrett Wilson. Uh, McCole Hardman's probably the biggest addition. I don't know how he's an 80 overall receiver. I don't think he ever really did that much, but that doesn't matter because his speed is all that matters. And Corey Davis is pretty nice too. I think he's a little bit underrated here. And then obviously the secondary is really where it's at with Sauce Gardner, who's probably the best cornerback in the game. Six foot three with great speed. He's already one of the best cornerbacks in the league. DJ Reed is a very good complimentary guy. Next up, we got the Ravens. The Ravens are one of those teams that every year, um, you know, they're really just missing receivers, and they went out and got that. So Lamar Jackson, obviously one of the best cornerbacks in the game when it comes to Madden. I mean, J.K. Dobbins, uh, to me, is a good running back at 91 speed, but they finally improved a receiver. Guys like Odell Beckham Jr. is going to be a huge improvement. Nelson Aguilar, who I'm not necessarily a fan, but he's definitely a good uh, upgrade of what they had in the past. Rashad Bateman pretty solid. The Verne has got speed with 94, and then they drafted Zay Flowers, so we'll see what he is, but here they have him listed as a 92 speed, so they're definitely loading up at the receiving core, and then obviously Mark Andrews is a Chico, one of the best tight ends in the game. Next up, we got the Seahawks, which if you guys watch my channel, I used a lot last year myself. Uh, Geno Smith is coming back. He's a solid quarterback. I know he's been very accurate. Uh, they added to the running back room quite a bit. I think they drafted like two, three running backs, but Zach Charbonnet I think is one of the better power backs to go along with Kenneth Walker, who with that 94 speed is one of the best running backs in the game. I heard a lot of people making a lot out of uh, Jackson Smith and Njigba coming to the, the Seahawks, but people forgot that they drafted Dwayne Eskridge last year, I think, in the second round. So they got a ton of young receivers to go with the speedy receivers they already have in Lockett and Metcalf. At tight end, Noah Fant still one of the fastest ones in the game at 89 speed. When you get to the defensive side, they went ahead and brought back Bobby Wagner to go along with Jordan Brooks. So that'll upgrade the defense in the middle. And then they drafted Devin Witherspoon with the fifth pick in the draft, who's considered one of the best cornerbacks in the draft. So they have him and Tyreek Woolen, two really good young cornerbacks. I think Cody Bryant had a pretty good year last year as a rookie too, so maybe he'll get a boost in ratings. Uh, and then your safeties are pretty solid too with Jamal Adams and Quandra Diggs. So this is a roster that's definitely on the rise in the NFC West. And last but not least, you know I had to have my Eagles in there. Uh, I couldn't have been happier with the draft. Let's just go right through it. If you guys watch my channel, you know I'm an Eagles fan, so I might be a bit of a homer, but they definitely have one of the best rosters. Hurts is coming back. They added to the running back room with DeAndre Swift who I think gives them their first receiving threat at running back in a while, like a, a, a serious receiving threat. So that's a good addition. Penny uh, is a good addition. Uh, you go to the receiving core, they really didn't do much. So it's pretty much the same, you know, overpowered receiving core as it was before with A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and Quez Watkins at his 97 speed. Dallas Goddard, still one of the best in the game. Great offensive line, still one of the best in the game. Uh, on the defensive side, speed is the name of the game once again, and they added Nolan Smith, a 4-3-40 guy coming off the edge. I don't know if he's going to be a defensive end or an outside linebacker, but either way, you're going to want to send that guy after the quarterback with that speed. At the defensive tackle spot, once again, you got Jalen Carter, who I think will probably be the highest rated player as far as rookies go in the game. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see me do more videos like this about Madden 24 rosters and stuff like that, Madden 24 content, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And like I said, if you want to play me using these rosters in an upcoming video series that I want to do, make sure to leave your gamer tag as far as, as long as you're on Xbox, leave your gamer tag in the description and I might hit you up. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm shut out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.